Welcome back to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV, where we talk about all things football. Now tonight, or today, okay, right, we're going to be talking, okay, well, this is uh, the betting tips, the On The Volley betting tips for the weekend. We're doing it early, so we give everyone time, okay, right, to study their, their bets, okay, right, and remember, it's a five-team accumulator made up, okay, of win, draw, lose, okay, both teams, uh, both teams to score, both teams to score, and over 2.5 goals, or just over 2.5 goals. That is a criteria we're looking at. Let's not forget that the first week that we've done it, what was it, two weeks ago, yeah? yeah. Jamie Wallace was the only one that actually got all five teams. Was, so, was, And we well congratulated him on that. Yeah, well done, yeah. Now, on our second segment, Jamie Wallace was out by one. He put Burnley, okay, as a home win. And that was a coupon, um, what's the word for it? A coupon breaker, okay, a coupon whatever, yeah. Well, you know. He didn't win. They, they drew nil-nil, so... Um, how did you get along last week? Um, well, I didn't do that great, actually. Um, no, you didn't win. If you didn't I, win, I you didn't do great. I definitely didn't win, yeah. so I didn't do great, no. Uh, I, I picked um, Bayern Munich to beat uh, Frankfurt. That was a surprise, wasn't it? Frankfurt, uh, Eintracht Frankfurt, I think, won in the last minutes of the game. That's true, it's yeah. Two one. Uh, it's a rare occurrence. Yeah, well. Uh, so we lost on that one. Uh, a coupon breaker, that's it. Exactly. Um, I picked Hearts to beat Motherwell, and um, they did. Mm. Hearts are flying at the minute. Um, I went for a Serie A game. I went for Torino. They were at home to Juventus, and um, Juventus um, won that game, so I had back Juventus to beat Torino, actually. Um, I also went for Burnley v Norwich, and I honestly thought Burnley were going to trash Norwich. Well, like I said, it was a coupon breaker, okay? I think, I think a lot of people actually thought Burnley would beat Norwich, because Burnley were at home, so, hey. Uh, but that ended up in a draw. And um, I went for Roma uh, at home to Empoli, and I went to Roma and it came in, yeah. So in reality, I got about th three out of five. Yeah, you got two wrong. Two wrong. Okay. Now me, okay, again, crap because I didn't win. So if I don't win, it doesn't matter how many I get right and how many I get wrong. The way I see it, yeah. I had Leipzig against Bochum that came in. I had Nice against Brest that came in. I had Fall Kirk against East Fife, okay, although Fall Kirk were 1 0 down, okay, right, they came back to win 2 1. I had PSV against Barter Rotterdam, and that was, a, that was a great game, actually. I think he ended up 5 3 to uh, PSV, if I remember. Um, but they won, it came in, so uh, the one that let me down was Verona against Spezia. Okay, I think Verona won like 4 0 or something, I can't remember the score now, yeah. But Spezia. Yeah. Quite surprising that one. I expected Spezia to score, yeah, and this yeah. is the second time where, you know, I, I, I thought about putting over over 2.5, but I said, no, 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 they'll both score, let me put both teams to score, and over 2.5, and one lets me down, but hey, that's what it is, okay, that's that's, that's football for you, you well, know, Well, you so. know, as we say, the ball is round. The ball is definitely round, that's, yeah, I, so. That's, that's what they see in Italy, anyway. Um, oh. Look, uh, so, yeah. hold on a second, we had quite a few more uh, people put in their predictions in the comment section. Uh, Tom Chambers yes, put his in, he did, and yes. he got four out of five, okay? The only one that let him down was Doncaster at home to MK Dons, and Doncaster, second from bottom in the league, if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. That was a surprise result, because they ended up winning 2-1. You know, and there again, another coupon breaker, the way I see it. Tony Giardina, oh man, that guy, I mean, he's just <laughs> mad. He put yeah. five draws on. Yeah. But when you look at it, they weren't bad. The only two, I mean, he Man United he Everton. Far out, no, he? Man United Everton come in. Palace versus Leicester came in. Uh, Brighton versus Arsenal came in. Spurs against Villa, that could have come in, but Spurs won 2 1, if I remember rightly. That's right, yeah. 
the, the shock was Coventry against Fulham because Coventry completely annihilated. They demolished Fulham. Yeah, yeah. yeah like him. So, yeah, and I worked out the odds, okay, you like this. Came out the blue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I didn't find it too funny, but okay, I hope you don't call it. <laughs> anyway, but as, as I was saying, Tony Jardina, okay, I worked out the odds like this, you know, uh, per a Okay, and it was over 2,000 to 1 if it come in. Yeah, I'm not too sure, 2,000 or 3,000 to 1, I'd worked out, I can't remember. But that was, that was like, I mean, it was a mad bet. But if it come in, you know. Well, he would have been very happy, wouldn't he? Yeah. And um, Frank the Don, I think he's the only one that didn't come in was Sunderland. Okay, I can't remember the Leon score. Okay, so I'm not going to say whether it's just one or two. Sunderland lost, yeah, so all that counts is if you've got one wrong. So, anyway, so we're now going to give our predictions for this weekend. Now, like I said, we're doing it early to give people a chance, okay, right, to study their bets, okay, study the teams, okay. But remember, we're also going to be giving you the odds, okay, but that's the odds as of today. And as every day goes past, the odds are bound to change. So, you know. And as we're recording this, it's Monday. So. Yeah, so it'll go up either tonight or tomorrow when it'll yeah, yeah. go up tonight. And it'll change throughout the week, won't it? Yeah, but it depends on when it's going to go up. When will they see it? Um, they'll see it tonight. Oh. Okay, so tomorrow, yeah. the odds will have changed so they can, you know. But I don't think people will start putting their predictions in until the end of the week to be totally honest that's what most people most, do most people do that yeah yeah um so do you want to go first on your selection or shall i go first on my selection you go first i'll go first right well this week i've decided i'm going to the scottish premiership and i've decided that i'm going to back hearts uh sorry hibernian I was about to say. I beg your pardon. Hibernian to beat Dundee. So that, that's a full win for him. Because they're doing quite well at the moment. I'm going to go for Watford v Liverpool. I'm going to... Basically, I want Liverpool to win away against Watford. Uh, another Serie A game in Italy. Uh, Juve Roma. I'm, I'm going for a away, ro away win for Roma at Juve. That's, um, that's very, very adventurous. It is, but Juve are not doing that well at the minute. No, no, um, that's true, that's true, but they're know, at home. They are at home, but um, I don't know, I don't know. Roma seem to be, you know, they're doing all right under Mourinho. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, Aston Villa, they're at home to Wolves, so I've gone for an Aston Villa win there at home. Napoli again in Serie A in Italy, I'm going for Napoli to beat Torino, Napoli at home. And I was going to go for an extra one, which I'm not allowed to. But, um, no, it's not that you're not allowed to, we couldn't find it. I, I just changed it because I wanted uh, my, my hometown, Gated, are playing in the fourth round of the FA Cup qualifier this weekend and they're playing Mask United and I was going to have data to win away. Yeah, well, we, we could we, even find it on the bench. Yeah, it so. may come up during the week, yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe it ju it's just not showing yet because it's yeah. the FA Cup fourth round, you said? Yeah, qualifying. Qualifying round, yeah, qualifying oh, round. Right. So it'll probably come up during, you know, Near the you know near the end end of the week like Friday or Saturday you probably see it but the fact that we're doing it today it's yeah. not showing yet it's not showing so yet. you know nothing we can do about that but anyway that that was me that's me and um, I think we'll move over to you and see what you've picked up okay well look I've gone okay for Wickham win they're playing away to Doncaster okay let's not forget that Doncaster was another coupon break uh, coupon breaker. Okay, because they were second bomb from the league when they were at home mm -hmm. against MK Dons. And MK Dons were the favourites. But Doncaster won 2 1. Okay, now can Lightning strike, strike twice, I say? Because I'm going for a Wickham win. Right. Wickham are away to Doncaster. Uh, 
I don't think they'll do it twice, okay? They're not having a good season at the moment, but hey, you know, anything can happen. Maybe, you know, they've, their confidence levels are up, okay, I mean, right? Maybe, maybe they can maybe believe they can... Maybe they a good push that way. Yeah, it may have done so, but I'm still going to go with Wickham because I, I think they're, they're a great team at the moment. They're very attacking and they score goals, so... Wickham Wanderers. Wickham Wanderers, that's right, yeah. So, um, I'm going to go Hibernian at home to Dundee United as well because Hibernian are flying at the moment, so uh, Dundee are not doing that well. I'm going to stay in the Scottish League and go for an Inverness win, okay, against Morton. Okay, I think Inverness will win. Um, you know, they're, they're doing quite well. Uh, I believe they are at the top or second of the league. Okay, you'll have to apo I have to apologise because I didn't get the time to go and do my normal, okay, thorough okay uh statistical study on this yeah which i did last time around you know work commitments and that we do this in our spare time so um but we do have an idea as to how they're playing so morton are not doing too well they're near the bottom of the league so so yeah then i'm going to go for drew Thur phil Okay, I don't know if I pronounced that rightly, okay, right in the pronunciation. The accent was completely wrong, but anyway, at home to Bochum. Why do you, you pick a team that's very difficult to uh, pronounce? Because they score goals, okay, and I'm going for over 2.5 goals, okay. I may not be able to pronounce it, but I know they, you know, they know where the back of the net is. They're always high scoring. So I'm going for over 2.5 goals there, yeah? Right. I've gone away from the both teams to score and over 2.5, okay? It's, 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 it's messed up twice. I think I said group uh, first correctly as well, so. And then I'm going to go for um, young boys at home to Luzerne, Luzerne okay? Luzerne. Yeah, young boys to win. So I've got Wickham, Hibernian, Inverness. Young boys and group their first over 2.5. Now the odds on that, total odds as of today, is 8.69 to 1, which isn't bad odds, but I think your odds are a lot higher than mine. My odds are 23.71 to 1. Okay, well, I think that's it. Our session is done. It's short and sweet, okay? Obviously, as we go on, as we see what kind of uh, reception we have to this, okay, right, the interest we have, as we grow, we will start, okay, evolving with other types of bets, like you, we might do just like, you know, European teams. Um, yeah, there, there, there are different things that we can do, okay, to make so it more interesting. There's a lot of combinations that we can do, yeah. to be fair, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know. Making it a bit more exciting, won't it? Yeah, we can do like, you know, just singles, beds, doubles, you know, okay. So, so we'll see. That, that's, that's to come in the future, depending on how things go. Anyway, with that, okay, as always, okay, thank you for watching us, okay. Uh, please press like if you like, okay. Put your comments underneath in the comment section. And put your five team accumulators who you think is going to win. And if you've got the odds as well, total odds, please put it in the comment section. Yeah, okay. so please, please do that because yes. it's, uh, it's interesting. So we share it with Form a Betting Tips yeah. community. Yeah. That's all we want to do, yeah? Let's see how we all do. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's help each other be bash the bookies. That's the word. That's, that's, that's it. Fair, bash the bookies. That's yeah, fair. yeah. And... Um, if you haven't as yet, please subscribe. Anyway, me, Shah, I'm out. Me, Kiba, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Hey, you used a gun there. I did. Without the... Without the... Me, Carmen. <laughs>